In this lesson, we will demonstrate how to remove the rear brake shoes from a rear-wheel drive General Motors vehicle. Before beginning, it will be helpful to look at the specific brake tools that are necessary for the task. From left to right, they are the combination tool, the adjustment tool, a small flat screwdriver, and the retainer spring depressor. In the previous lesson, you raised the vehicle and removed the road wheels. The first task now is to remove the brake drum. However, first it may be necessary to back off the emergency brake adjustment. You may also need to back off the automatic brake shoe adjustment. Use the small screwdriver to hold the adjusting lever out of the way. Then turn the star wheel adjuster until the shoes are retracted but just enough to permit the brake drum to be removed. The dust that is present in the drum and on the mechanism is very harmful to breathe. Therefore, do not use compressed air to blow it off. Instead, use a vacuum or wash it with water. Before disassembly, examine the shoe locations so you will know the proper positions for reassembly. The primary shoe is always the first shoe after the wheel cylinder in the direction of rotation. In this case, the primary shoe is at the front or to the right in this picture. Positioning is important because the secondary shoe does most of the brake work, it has more braking material. This one has about a nine and one half inch span. But the primary shoe has only an eight inch span. Reassembly in exchanged positions would cause inefficient braking. Begin the disassembly by using the combination tool to remove the primary and secondary return springs. Unclip each of the springs from the pivot pin at the top end. Next, remove the automatic brake adjuster link and then the anchor plate from the anchor pin. Now you are ready to remove the retainer assembly from each brake shoe. Use the retainer spring depressor tool to collapse the spring. Then rotate the retainer until it comes loose from the pin. The individual parts of the retainer assembly are a spring, a pin, a retainer, and a washer. The automatic adjustment lever can be removed as an assembly and does not need to be further dismantled before cleaning. Do not lose the spring as it will fall off. Now both the shoes and the adjuster can be lifted from the backing plate as an assembly. The emergency brake strut rod and the anti-rattle spring can easily be removed. And only the emergency brake cable needs to be disconnected. A twist of the cable removes it from the emergency brake lever. At this point, you have the shoe assembly completely removed from the axle housing and backing plate. Use the small screwdriver to remove the horseshoe clip, allowing the emergency brake lever to separate from the secondary shoe. The star wheel adjuster is easily removed as a unit, but it should be carefully inspected and cleaned so it will operate smoothly upon reassembly. Remove the pivot from the adjuster and an R or an L will be stamped inside, signifying whether it belongs on the left or the right side of the vehicle. We have now observed the procedure for dismantling the brake shoe mechanism. This is a drawing of the brake parts and their names, which your instructor will leave on the screen while there are questions and discussion about the procedures we have just seen.